I wonder if you guys can guess where we are today. That's right, we are in the southernmost part of St. Lucia, Viewport. <laughs> Why is Viewport so well known? That is because it's been of great importance for centuries. <laughs> For instance, Buford was a major producer of sugar during the 18th and 19th centuries. Did you know that? <laughs> and the Americans even built an airfield there. Yes, being Army Airfield and it was built during World War II. Today, the said airfield is the island's main airport. Not only that, but Viewfort is well known for its vast expanses of land and is home to the eco-friendly Maria Islands just off its coast with endless untapped possibilities and other landmarks like George Odlum National Stadium, a seaport, captivating beaches, a horse racing track, a major hotel, a strong agricultural and cultural identity nicknamed the New Frontier many years ago. Wait, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm K Kira. If you're new, welcome to my happy place. By the way, guys, feel free to comment on the video. And if you learned something or like the experience, don't keep it to yourself, share it with someone. So before I continue shoving history down your throat, <laughs> I've been in St. Lucia for a couple days now and I decided to jump right in like I never left and this is how I got here. We came all the way to Viewport to participate in a Christ for Crisis prayer mat spearheaded by churches and government ministers. This is a sneak peek of what it looks like. Had it not been a spontaneous move with the vlogging, I would totally get better footage for you guys. But hey, you can always catch me on the news because I'm sure I'll make it on TV with this red for victory outfit I have going on there. I was heading home and since I took you guys with me to Mikud in my last video, I thought why not take you guys home with me I mean not home home I don't have enough security for that but for some of it at least I get to spend some of this drive with you you're not here by happenstance you belong here we are now approaching the airport the Uranura International Airport and let me tell you the Uranura International Airport is the main point of entry for most visitors to St. Lucia from places like North America, Europe and Asia. The airport was established by the United States Army Air Force in 1941, then known as the Bean Army Airfield. It was used by the Air Force to protect St. Lucia from enemy attacks during World War II. The airbase was later revamped into a commercial airport and was renamed Uranura International Airport. And that, my friends, is how we got this name. The airport has a single terminal used for both domestic and international operations. It features an asphalt surface runway which is 2,744 meters long and 45 meters wide, accommodating small and medium-sized aircraft. There is a master plan in the pipelines for redevelopment and that is because of the growing demand of air transportation. The plan is to revamp the existing infrastructure in accordance with the demand for Forecast and the aim is to improve the service offered to passengers in that more tourists can come visit our country. Uranura International. Oh. Who remembers the St. Jude's Hospital? I've been battling with should I tell you guys about the hospital first or the stadium? I think I'll go hospital since hospital is actually there first. The St. Jude's Hospital is a statutory body of the government of St. Lucia and is governed by a board of directors appointed by the Minister of Health. It was located in Urge, Beaufort, in the southern tip of the island. 
The hospital was formally opened as a charity hospital on the 5th of September 1966 by Mother Irma and the Sisters of the Sorrowful Mother, a Franciscan religious order based in the USA. This was done on behalf of the Catholic Church. Patients' care was given at no charge. The hospital was staffed primarily by volunteer doctors, technicians, and others from the United States and other countries. It became a model of excellent health care. This tradition of volunteerism has continued over the years. The sisters managed St. Jude's Hospital until 1992, at which time the St. Lucia government awarded a management contract to Mercy Medical Center in the U.S. In 2003, the St. Jude's Hospital Act No. 7 was passed, providing for an independent board of directors to manage the hospital. The Ministry of Finance partially subsidized the hospital with an annual grant which is used to pay the salaries of hospital employees. The Act gives the hospital the right to charge and obtain patient revenue in order to meet operating costs not covered by governmental subsidies. On 9th of September 2009, St. Jude's Hospital was devastated by a fire. The fire destroyed the surgical and pediatric wards and the operating theatres of a seriously aging facility. The hospital was evacuated to the George Odlum Sports Stadium where it is still currently located. Most services previously available at the old site, a facility in great need of renovation, have resumed. In many instances, the level and quality of services available at the stadium are improved from those available at the old hospital. The government of St. Lucia has made a policy decision to completely renovate the old hospital. This is necessary in order to restore the capacity of the healthcare delivery system in the southern half of the island that serves a population of approximately 66,000 persons. There has been significant progress in the renovation effort which is expected to be completed very soon. You must know that since the founding of the St. Jude's Hospital, it has been committed to partnering with individuals and international medical institutions. It strives to produce quality health care that is accessible, holistic, and client-focused. These partners have included volunteers, many of whom have continued to return on a regular basis, in some cases for 20 or more years. These include physicians, dentists, nurses, and persons from a variety of backgrounds. These partnerships have been critical to the survival of the St. Jude's Hospital as an institution. They will continue to be part of the strategic vision of the hospital, which is committed to bolstering its voluntary program. The Euronura Health Volunteers is a USA-based non-profit organization formed by St. Jude's Hospital Volunteers. It is dedicated to supporting the hospital and assisting in the recruitment of volunteers. The George Odlum Stadium is a 9,000 capacity football stadium in Beaufort, St. Lucia. Okay, we're gonna stop here for a bit. Before I tell you guys a little more about the stadium, I hope you have been taking note of the various areas popping up on your screen. Hey. Basically, we started off at Sandy Beach in Viewport and not far from it, we met the Coconut Bay Hotel. Then, of course, our airport and stadium hospital, which has been the main highlight of our road trip today. We also passed the Larry Shoes and soon we will pass an equestrian property.
Jersey. Also, we will pass places like Beriso and Tiroche, and last but not least, Mikud. So keep your eyes on the road, and if you are not able to do so on the first round, of course, you have the luxury of enjoying this experience as many times as you wish. We already learned that the George Odlum Stadium is the place where the St. Jude's Hospital was relocated to. So let's learn a little more about the George Odlum Stadium. This stadium is located on a wide plain in St. Urbain at the foot of Mont Borsejou in the southern community of Beaufort. It is approximately five minutes away from the main population center in the south of St. Lucia and virtually a stone throw away from the Uranora International Airport. The stadium is approximately 45 minutes away from the capital Castries. The stadium was the most modern in the Caribbean at the time of its construction. One of the first events at the stadium, then simply known as St. Lucia National Stadium, was the multidiscipline Windward Island Secondary School Game. Better known as what? Inter-secondary school spot. Intersec. <laughs> I remember those days switching from the Mindu Philip Park and having to go all the way to the National Stadium. Just the drive alone got us all psyched up and ready to do our four by one relays, our long distance running, our sprinting. And me forming part of the Monsters Club was just awesome. <laughs> Okay guys, can you see? We're in Mikud now. So we pretty much covered our Beaufort Castries Highway. I'm going to put the links in the bottom for those of you who just discovered this channel. It is 
always a good time to subscribe especially those of you who have been enjoying the experience for a while i'm going to be jamming all the way home probably gonna stop for some hot bread and butter on the way but until next time guys Toodles.